Okay, if you're doing this on your real nails, the first thing would be to apply some kind of base coat. This one's Beauty Secrets. And then, once that's done and dried, nextly you would want to apply some kind of nude color, pink nude, whatever color that you'd use to do a French tip. And this step can be optional if you like the original look of your actual nail bed color, then you can do that. This one's just nude from Elf. So, I've already done that, and it is dry. So, the next step is I'm going to be using this LA Colors um, Nail Polish in Bright Pink. And taking that and applying it like a French tip. Okay, so that's like a rough line and how it's going to be. Nextly, I'm going to be taking an Art Deco. This one is Black Sparkles, so it's a black striper polish with silver glitter in it. And to straighten up that line, I'm just going to be taking and striping a really thin line across there and you can actually use the plain black one for this um, from LA Colors because um, I actually use the plain one on my nails Once you have that, you're going to also take your strap of polish, and I'm going to use the regular black one for this. This one's actually from Kiss. The first one you want to start with these zebra stripes come from either side of your nail. It doesn't matter what side you start on, but you want to make it thicker at the base and fling it out. So it'll be thinner as you go along through there. Okay, then the next one we do is going to start on this side. And instead of meeting the other one, you're going to go a little above that one. That line looks like that. It's a little bit thicker than the other one, but that's alright. And then go back to the other side. And do the same thing. And then again. So on each on each one of mine I was only able to get four on there. You may have bigger you know, nails than me or whatnot, so you may be able to get a lot more than me. Just make a little one up there. But really easy, simple zebra stripes on a French tip. You could also do this on your full nail. Um, that'll probably be my next one to just do basic white and black, but. It's really easy to accomplish. Um, I hope you liked it. And the last step would be to, after everything dries, be to apply a top coat, um, hardener, or whatever you use, high gloss one. Um, this one's also from Beauty Secrets. So that's it for this tutorial. There'll be pictures at the end as always. And thank you guys for watching.